Good morning. My name is Pastor Mike, and I want to welcome you to today's good news. Today, we're starting a new Bible study series through the book of Jude. The book of Jude is one of the shortest books in the entire Bible. In fact, Jude is so short that it only contains one chapter. Speaking of short books, did you know that three of our pastors here at the church have written short, best-selling books? Let me share with you the best-selling short books that your pastors have written. Short book number one, Pastor Andrew's Tips on Birth Control. Short book number two, Pastor Ted's Dieting Tips. And one more, my favorite of them all, short book number three, Pastor Mike's Giant Picture Book of Hairdos and Afros. Well, seriously, this book of Jude may be small, but it is powerful. If you have a Bible laying around, would you open it up with us and please read that first verse with me, Jude 1.1. Jude 1.1 says this, Jude, a bondservant of Jesus Christ and brother of James to those who are called, sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ. One more time, Jude, a bondservant of Jesus Christ, brother of James to those who are called, sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ. So this book begins with an introduction. And we find here the writer is a guy named Jude. Now Jude was the younger brother of Jesus. And we know that because he brings up Jesus' most famous brother, James, right here. James was one of the early pastors of the church in Jerusalem. And we know that James and Jude and the other siblings of Jesus came to faith after the resurrection. Now I love who else James brings up here in this introduction. James first brings up God the Father, and then G- and he also brings up Jesus Christ. In fact, he mentions Jesus twice. See, Jude knew something very, very important. Jude realized that both the Father and the Son were involved in his life. The Father and the Son involved in his salvation and even his calling as a believer. Now, let me give you some really good news today. This book of Jude is in your Bible because the message of Jude is for you as a Christian today. This book is written for you. In fact, we find three descriptions of you as a Christian here. Do you see it there? Let's read this verse one more time and see if we can find these three descriptions of us as a Christian. Jude, a bondservant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to those who are here, it is called, sanctified by God the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ. Let's take a moment to look at these three descriptions. First off, as a Christian, you are called. What that means is that God has a unique and special calling on your life. God has ministry that he's called you to do. God places people around you that he's called you to reach and to love. Please remember today that Jesus Christ has called you as a believer. Secondly, as a Christian, you've been sanctified. This word sanctified appears a lot in the Bible, and the Apostle Paul wrote about being sanctified a lot. But this is actually a different Greek word that Jude uses here. This word sanctified can be described as being loved or longed for. What that means is that God loves you, and he longs for your fellowship. He loves you, and he longs to be with you forever. Today, as you live your day, please remember you are loved and the Father longs for fellowship with you. Third and finally, we're told here that you will be preserved by Jesus Christ. Here's what that means for you. Today, don't sweat the small stuff. It's not going to kill you. You're not going to die. Jesus is going to preserve you. He's going to not only get you through this day, but he's going to preserve your life to the very end when he welcomes you home in heaven. Precious friends, God loves you so much. And that is today's good news.